Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install custom ROMs on the HTC Thunderbolt. First step is to get the app ROM Manager from the market. There's a free version. Go ahead and launch that. This is the first and easiest of the three ways. Um, go right to the Download ROM button, and then here you'll see a list of developers. You can choose whatever one you want. Um, I recommend Das Bamf. It's a very good sense ROM with all the bloat taken out. This first one, Das Bamf 1.6.3 NTE, um, is a not themed version. The Das Bamf 1.6.3 Remix is the same, but it has a slight theme. So I'm going to click on the NTE there. Here you can read reviews, see images. In the lower left corner, there's a download link. Go ahead and push that. Your download will start, pop up in the notification bar. Mine's already finished, but yours will show the progress there. So when it's finished, this square or box will pop up in ROM Manager. The first option, it asks you if you want to back up your existing ROM. You're going to want to do that. That'll make a complete clone of your current system including all your apps, your contacts, your messages. In case something goes wrong, you can always restore to that. You're going to want to wipe your data and cache. That will delete all your apps and your messages and everything, but at least you'll have a backup in case you ever need to backup. And just leave the last one checked, wiped out of cache. You'll hit OK. And it'll ask you, press OK to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and continue the installation. If you push yes, your phone will reboot to recovery. It will then make a backup. It will then flash the ROM and then reboot your phone to the new ROM. So first method is as simple as that. The second method to flash a custom ROM to the HTC Thunderbolt is to download it from the internet, then check the MD5 sum, then load it to your SD card you don't need to rename it. Then you will launch ROM Manager and you can select right here install ROM from SD card. The reason you'd use this method is because not all ROMs are available to download from ROM Manager so you might have to download it from the internet. Then this here is showing your SD card. You'll navigate to wherever the ROM is, wherever you saved it. It doesn't have to be on the root, it could be in a folder. So here are all my ROMs that I have on here. Say I was to install Tesla Coil. You click it, you'll see this same box again. Asking you if you want to back up your existing ROM, wipe dead in cache, wipe out at cache. You would check all three again. So it would make a backup and it would also wipe your data. The third way to install a custom ROM to the Thunderbolt is to first download the ROM from the internet and load it to your SD card and then we will manually flash it from Clockwork Mod Recovery. So you can get to recovery a couple ways. If you go to ROM Manager you can select this option reboot into recovery that'll take you to recovery or you power your phone off Once it's completely off, you hold the volume down button and the power button. Your phone will boot to the bootloader. Then you push volume, volume down to go down one where it says recovery and push the power button to select. Okay, now it booted to recovery. So, first thing you should do is go down with the volume down button to back up and restore. Push the power button to select, or you can use the home button for select and the back button for back. Then you hit the first one, backup. 
and it will back up your ROM. Okay, the backup is now finished. As you can see, we're still in Clockwork Recovery. I just want to note that if you go back to Backup and Restore, you can restore your phone from here too. You don't have to do it uh, through ROM Manager. See, there's all my backups. I would just select it, and it would restore my phone. Now, back to flashing the ROM. So from the main menu, you want to go down to Wipe Data, Factory Reset, down to Yes, hit OK. This will wipe your data, including your apps, contacts, etc. Now if you want, you could do this a couple times just to be safe. Okay, then you go to, can go down to wipe cache if you want. The data wipe already wipes the cache, but I do it anyways. Okay, and then if you desire, you can go down to advanced and wipe the alpha cache. It's a good idea to do that too. Okay, then you go back to the main menu. This option here, install zip from SD card. Go ahead and select that. Choose zip from SD card. Now here is everything on your SD card. You're going to navigate to wherever you saved your ROM. Here's my list of ROMs. Before I do that, let me show you from the main menu how you can access your SD card. Straight through recovery, you don't have to boot it back up and then put it in disk drive mode. If you go down to mounts and storage, and then this second to last option, mount USB storage, that will mount it as a disk drive to your computer. So then you can add a ROM or whatever you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to go back to flashing the ROM. Hit yes to install. And it'll start installing. When that's finished, it'll say uh, update complete, something similar to that, and then uh, you can select the first option, reboot system now, and your system will reboot to the new ROM.